Hello friends, Tony here. I want to create one more video about uh, Laravel and Splate right now. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a dependent select with uh, Laravel and Splate. So for that, I have prepared a project and I have used the Breeze starter kit. So create a Laravel project, CD in that project, and then you can require the package and then run the PHP Artisan Breeze install and also the npm run that. Now here is the project and let's open the VS Code and show you. First, I have uh, created a country and city model and migration and on country model I added the protect guarded and also a method cities a relationship. Let's open also the CD model and here I added only the protected guarded to be an empty array. Okay, let's close. And let's open the country countries migration. Here I added only the name. Let's open the cities migration and here I added the country ID, version country ID, constraint, and also the name string. Good. And now let's open the terminal and here I'm going to make a controller. So artisan make controller, controller, and the name of the controller is going to be get for controller, which is going to be invocable. I'm going to select two here. And one more is going to be post for controller, and also this one is going to be invocable. Good. Now let's open the web routes, and in here I'm going to uh, register two routes. So the first one is going to be a route post slash form. And here I'm going to use a post for controller class. And let's copy and paste. This one is going to be get for, and here we need to add the get for controller class. Okay, let's save. Now let's go first to the get for controller class. And here I'm going to return the view and let's create a view inside forms dot and here I'm going to say create let's save and let's go inside the resources views and here let's create a folder forms and inside the form I'm going to create a new file create.blade.php and let's select what we have here so select all copy and paste it change this one to say form here and also in here is going to be the form now if I select so inside the form we have this which we return good so we need to navigate slash four and let's okay and we need to log in and for that also I want to show you inside the database seeder I have added here first to create a new user this test example user but then I have created two countries okay and then for the first country which is this one I have created the London, Liverpool and Leicester City and for the Greece country I have created the Athens and Zakynthos City. Okay, so for that now let's go and log in with that user. So test example.com and let's just do something like this, add the password and yeah, here we are. Now let's navigate to slash 
forms. Yeah, we say forms. Okay, refresh. And yeah, here is the four. Good. Now let's go scroll down on the split dev documentation form components and go to the select. And yeah, here we have an example for the countries. I'm going to copy this. And let's open the create. And here is going to be the form. First, I'm going to add the X split form, which is going to be method post and the action. And the action is going to be just slash here. Then let's add this one for name, not country code, but country ID. And options are going to be countries. Now we don't have these countries, so let's go to the get form and let's add here also that. So I'm going to say countries is going to be a user country model. And I'm going to use put the name and the ID. And I'm going to transform the array just like this we need. And let's here and refresh now. Yeah, here we have United Kingdom and select. Good. Now let's based on what we select here, I want to have that for cities. If we scroll down, we have a eloquent relationship, as you can see. Also, we have default settings and then we have this remote options. So the component has support for loading the options from this uh, remote URL. So what the URL is here, what is returning from this URL is going to populate the options. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. So let's copy this one here. And this is the data example. So you, you may want to load the remote option from a nested data set, which we have in this example. Yeah, here we have an example with a country and a region. So let's copy that. Let's copy this one here. And let's go to the create. And here we have for country, now let's add this, not for region, but for uh, cities. So this is going to be city ID. And the remote URL is going to come from the API cities. And here we add the form country ID. Here we have country, but we need to add country ID. Now, if I save and let's see on the browser, yeah, here is the example. And also we need to add the X split submit, save, yeah, it is. Now, yeah, we can select the United Kingdom, but here is nothing. If I inspect the element here, and let's go to the network, select Greece. And as you can see, we make a request here, but we have or, or not found because we don't have this URL. So let's go and create that. And we need to create inside the API, PHP. And here, let's say route, get, and I'm going to say slash cities and this is because here we have api cities by by default all the urls inside this api php as this api so slash api then cities and then here we expect the country id so cities slash i'm going to say here country id and then i'm going to use a clo well, closure here so let's say just function and here I'm going to 
Sei do la sang. Country. ID. Let's close this. And let's what return here is going to be the options for this city. So what we need to return is first let's get the country from this country ID. Okay, so let's say dollar sign country to be equal with country model and I'm going to use find or fail this country ID and then let's return and let's say response JSON and dollar sign country and the relationship which is cities. Now if I save this and let's open the browser I'm going to refresh just in case select the United Kingdom and here we have a response with all the cities. So country ID 1 also for this one is country ID 1 and for this one country ID 1. Now let's clear this and let's select the Greece and let's see we, we have only two with country ID 2 and country ID 2. Good. Now if I see here yeah we have something like this so let's come right here and just add option label and option value. So I'm going to copy that and paste it on the create inside here select for the city ID and if I save now and let's see on the browser a refresh let's select United Kingdom and now here we have London Liverpool and Leicester and now I want to submit and when you submit I want the selected country ID and the selected city ID okay so for that let's go to the web browse and for post we have just something like this post and let's open the post form controller or we can leave it for and let's go to the create and change the action the b slash forms okay now let's go to the post form controller and here I'm going to say just dime dump the request just to show you we get the selected country and city ID so if I refresh here let's select the United Kingdom and let's select uh, London now I'm going to open also the table plus just to show you okay and here we have cities now the London has the ID 1 Liverpool has the ID 2, Leicester ID 3, and Athens ID 4, Zakynthos ID 5. So right now we expect that the London to be with ID 1 and also the country United Kingdom with ID 1. Now if I see, say submit here, go to the request and we have country ID 1 and city ID 1. Let's go and refresh and let's select the United Kingdom and Leicester, which the United Kingdom has the ID 1 and Leicester has the ID 3. If I say submit, go to the request and here we have the country ID 1 and city ID 3. Let's refresh one more time and select Greece and with say Athens, submit, go to the request, we have the country ID 2 now and city ID 4 because the Athens has the ID 4 and countries Greece has the ID 2. Okay friends, that's it about this uh, video how to create a dependent select drop down with the variable in split. I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video, subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. All the best.